Yo, yo, I'm Mixed Miles and Mile Man, and welcome to my channel. And on today's video, we're just off out uh, to go and pick up an Atco Balmoral uh, 14SK. So that's the one with the Kawasaki engine on it. Now, this one came up on eBay, and it's literally four minutes from the door. So um, that's cool. So I saved on postage. Just messaged a bloke up because I, didn't, I actually put a bid on it, and then it was one of those ones where you put a bid on something, and then... <laughs> you forget your bid on it and you get a message come through saying you won it. So um, quite luckily, I was the only person to put a bid on it because it was selling for roughly the right amount of money um, that I normally would, would buy one for. But uh, it's a little bit different. And it's different because um, it has the incorrect grass box um, attachment fitted on it. So it's actually got a um, an Alit um grass box off of an off an electric mower and uh, off of a, an Alec Windsor is what I think they, they, they call it so that's got the Windsor box on it which is a bit like your your quo cast sort of box and carrier so it's not got the right grass box on it but I've got loads of those sort of grass boxes and the, and the carriers for it. So, but that's not an issue for me I've got loads of those back at back at the old uh, the old house like so I thought I'll put a little sneaky bit on it, um, and hopefully, because it's got the, the Windsor grass box on it, it might put people off actually buying it, and it did. So I'm on the way now to go and pick this up. This is literally just around the corner from, from where we live. Um, I'm two minutes away, unless you have just left my house. So um, we're going to pick it up. Apparently, it's all running. It runs uh, with, with no, no problems at all. Um, the cylinder looks absolutely fantastic, but I just think everybody's been put off from buying this machine because it's got the Windsor grass box on it, which is not the right grass box at all. Um, and I think I can turn this for uh, for a good amount if I can just just get it back home. It all runs and just put the correct grass box on it and the correct um, grass box carrier. Simple as that. So I'll pop along here. I'm going to be there in two minutes, literally. Pop along, see the boat. I've already paid for it on eBay and what have you. That's all good to go. So you just got to turn up, take it, and. Um, when I get back to the uh, back to the house, I'll uh, I'll let you guys and girls see it because for what it is, an Atco Balmoral 14 SK, um, it was cheap um, purely because they're on grass box. So that's mad. So hopefully we can do a quick little deal here. We'll turn right in. I'll be in one minute. So let me get it loaded up and I'll come back and have a quick little chat once I've got it. And then uh, we we'll go back home and have a little look at it. So it looks to be a really tidy little machine. So I'll see you guys and girls two ticks gents so come on in because i'm just here to buy an atco balmoral 14 sk there she is there and um this, what's your name mate green green mr green he's a bit like me just a little bit older so that's the mower i'm buying and we just established that the the grass boxes are in, interchangeable back to front but i started having a little sneaky peek like you do and come across Suffolk's 17 inches and little little tiny cylinder mowers. But it don't stop, this man's worse than me. He's got all Mark One Suffolk tanks out here, all these mowers, let's look at, let's look at these ones in the conservatory set about. He's got Suffolk's out here as well, he's, he's more excited than I am. He's got a nice little Suffolk out here. That's another 17, it needs a bit of work. He's also got a lovely little mower in his gem store out here. Have a look at that little beauty. Isn't that a beautiful thing? But he says, that's not it. He says, come inside, he said, Mick. Come and have a look in here. So Mr. Green, he's just shown me these two absolutely spanking greens. Look at that. Beautiful little chain network on there. Cylinders all been done. Look at that, people. Little, little ransoms there, look. Ang Anglia. Anglia. Lovely. Anglia Mark 5. Mark 5. Oh. 10-inch. Look at that. They, they are got... rare. They are rare. Yeah. Have you got grass boxes for those as well? No, I haven't. Uh, that's a shame. See, my mate, Mr. Jones, he would love to see one of these. He belongs to the old lawnmowers club, same well, as me. I was just going to say, the lawnmowers club, uh, I, I, sell it, I sell it them, you know, advertising them. They're looking, they're looking for that particular well, I'm a, model. Well, I'm an active member of the Vintage Lawnmower Club as well. Oh, I am. I am, so yeah. Look at these, all this gold leaf work done here. Look at it, look. 
beautiful. So what I've done, yeah. So he has got more, we won't go through all of that lot, but he has got a few more little gems here, people. So uh, what an absolute little find to have. Mick Mowers with Mr. Green's here. He just showed me these absolute little beauties. So thank you very much for that, mate. Much appreciated. That's okay. So he's just brought me in here. Nice little Ransoms Marquis, um, Mark II, 12 inch. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful looking machine. Uh, this is a man to know, a little tiny Ransoms Marquis sign he's made there as well, so absolutely brilliant in here. It's like a little Aladdin's cave, it's just lawnmower engines absolutely everywhere. All right, so as has left Mr. Green. Wow, what a fantastic bloke he is. He's brilliant. He likes his, uh, which way am I going out here? Any idea? I think it's this way, I might be wrong. Um, what a fantastic bloke. He's about 80 odd years old. And uh, he has he has just literally dead end uh, lost his lost his dear wife and, and he, he got a bit upset because they're talking about her. But uh, we, we had a good chat. We had a good chat for I've been there for about half an hour. Mrs P must think he's only, he's only going five minutes away. He's been gone half a day. I had a good chat with him because he got a bit upset and talking about his wife and uh, just looking around his looking around his some of his little he's got loads of little lock up garages and bits and pieces and um, or little lock up sheds. And in every single shed he's got, there's a Suffolk in there, or there's a Greens in there, or there's a little tiny JP Super. There's so many little vintage cylinder mowers in there that he's, that he's restored over time, and he's, done, he's still, trying, still trying to do the restoration work on them. I don't know where I am. I'm lost, actually. Where am I? Uh, oh, I know where I am. Um, so, um, what a really nice fella. So I've given him my card, uh, because uh, I, I, think, I think he's a bit lonely. I said, if you want to pop over to see Mixed Mowers and have a cup of tea in your old shack or want me to come over and do a bit of tinkering work with you or if you want any advice on, on selling machines, what sort of prices to look for, feel free to, feel free to, to ring me up. And he said he will, um, because I, I, think, I think he is a little bit lonely. But uh, he got some fantastic, some fantastic bits of equipment. Really beautiful, beautiful bits of equipment. I think I've gone down the wrong way. I'm just sitting here yakking to you like I have gone, gone the wrong way. Oh, it, I, I was just right in the element. I was right in the element there. Um, and he was saying that, we, that there's lots of people who've got that, that are scammers out there. And he said, Mick, you're really, you seem to be really genuine. So I am. I said, I'd never pull anyone's pants down on price. You tell me what you want and we'll have a chat about it, you know? But um, what a really nice old boy. Re it, it really was a privilege spending a bit of time with somebody that's done a little bit, a little bit of the old uh, small engine repair stuff as well. So I'm super impressed with that. I hadn't even tried to start the lawnmower because I said to him, he said, don't you want to hear it run? I said, no. I said, because you've got all these machines in here. There's no way you'll be selling me a machine that hasn't been looked after. That, that just not, it's just not going to happen. Um, so I didn't even bother starting it. So uh, all I have done, um, when I got there, I noticed that it had the wrong box on it. And he, and he swore blind to me it was the right box. And I swore blind it wasn't. So we had a bit of a small engine debate. So put me a comment in the comment section below, not to prove anyone wrong, but have you ever seen or did Atco ever release the plastic box that comes off of the Windsor as standard? I know you can retrofit them, but I've never seen an Atco bound model 14, 17 or 20 with the Windsor style carrier frame and bracket. I just think that he just retrofitted it for ease, because the Atco Balmora box is a bit of a poor design in, in, in a grand scheme of things, because it's got a big lip on it. But let us know in the comment section if you've, if you've ever come across it as a standard. I, I haven't. But what a really nice bloke. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself there. Really enjoyed myself. I had a great time for about half hour, 45 minutes, chatting to an old boy, all about small engines, cylinder mowers, and bits and pieces, and just had a, just had a really nice time. He's got some really, really nice stuff in there. Some really nice vintage mowers. Really nice. A bit envious, really. Of some stuff he has got is just, especially the greens, they're, they're really nice. Really nice machine. And they're on display in his conservatory. He must just sit there and stare at them, because that's all I did. So, what a day. I didn't think winning a little tiny cylinder mower on eBay would result in me having a really, really good time today. Yeah, fantastic. So, well, Mrs. Pease text me, where where the hell are you? <laughs> uh, I've been, been chatting to Mr. Green. That was 45 minutes ago she texted me. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Um, 
So I've got my wallet yet. I'm going to pop down to McDonald's or Greg's go and get some coffees because the kitchen fitters are still in and they've turned the water off because they're doing plumbing work and what have you. So this has been waiting for a coffee for 45 minutes whilst I've been yakking. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Um, what a really nice fella. Really did. I really have enjoyed myself. So I have given him my card, as I say, because you know he's not he's not a young man. Not going to take advantage of. But I said, if ever you want to pass some of this stuff on for for any amount of money, just before you put them up for sale, give me a ring. Give me a ring. I'll pop round. We'll have a cup of tea, slice of cake, and we'll talk about it and see if we can't work a deal out. Because I'm I'm up for that. You know, those old cylinder mowers, they just don't come up very often and who would have thought there was another antique vintage lawnmower collection bloke living four minutes from my door four minutes just goes to prove you never know what people got in their garage wow right let's get back to the old shack after i got the coffee and we will um endeavor to get, get this lawnmower out and get it fired up but i've got a sneaky suspicion it's going to be, now I've got the original box back on it, he put the box off the Windsor and put it onto my Atco. Um, so I've now got a complete Atco bound model and he said, you've got a right deal there. I said, yeah, I know I have. Um, I even told him how much I sell them for if I if I, if I I um, export them out or, or sell them on and whatever. But I haven't, I haven't got to touch it. So this has all been sharpened up and done. So it's good to go, just literally just tied up and move it on. Uh, which would be good for me because I need the deposit for the kitchen to uh, keep that keep that moving. So that's good. So I head back to the old shack in a minute, and then um, I'll catch you guys and girls in the back garden, and we're going to fire this machine up, give it a little run, see what it does. But I've got a feeling it's going to need no work at all. Just see you in a tick. Right. So we've got the uh, Atco Balmore 14 SK now on the lawn. Just got back from Mr. Green. And, li and literally, I, have, I haven't even tried to start it, so I'm hoping it's going to start, but judging by Mr. Green's uh, reputation and what have you, and knowing what he's, uh, what he's got, it's going to start. It's going to start. So, let's turn that on. That's off. Turn it on. We'll choke it. I'm not expecting it not to start, so. First pull. First pull, cylinder. That's sharp too, that is. That's all the thick grass in the box. Yeah, that cylinder's really sharp, really sharp. Look at that. It could just a bit of adjustment on the cylinder, just a little bit slow. You pull it in halfway, nothing, and then right at the end of a bite point, so that cylinder wants, just wants adjusting slightly. Not a lot. I'm going to adjust that. But drive works lovely. It runs, it drives. Do you know what? I'm not going to bother. It's just, it's just what it is. So this machine just wants a bit of the old mix mower's love. A bit of adjustment. Good to go. Is it idle? Idles. Fast revs. And not to say about Kawasaki's. If they idle and you go to fast revs and there's no change in that or it stalls out, and the carburetor needs to do it, but, but that doesn't. So idle down, lovely. And then you hear it change, but it revs up. Fantastic machine. So thank you, Mr. Green, um, for showing me around your little mower collection. I've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed myself today. And uh, who would have thought, four minutes from my house, got a lawnmower enthusiast who does both petrol, uh, mainly Suffolk by the look of it, uh, cylinder mowers and um, push cylinder mowers too. And uh, I bought this off of him. Um, just, just as was, it's cheap, I thought I'd buy it, and um, yeah, I can make some money on this, no problem at all. And uh, we'll move this one on, hopefully get it exported to another country where they really, really like them, and then uh, yeah, we're good to go. So, there you go, quick little video there for you on my Atco Bound Moral um, purchase with a little tiny hidden gem of Aladdin's Cave from Mr. Green. And hopefully I'll go back to him again another day to have a quick little look around his store again, just, just to get a bit more familiar with him and see what else he's got in there, and try if I can help a man out, just to keep him happy and what have you then, I will do so. There you go, quick little video for you from there for Mixed Mowers and Mower Man. If this is the first time you watch Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to this episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, guys, much more importantly, take care easy.